Hello, I am Denton Slovacek, Application Development Manager for the Power Industry at Hawk. Today, I would like to demonstrate how to properly change reagents on the NA5600 sodium analyzer. This is to ensure safe handling and correct replacement of your reagents. Let's move on to the demonstration. There are four reagents we use for the proper operation of the NA5600 sodium analyzer. The first three we'll demonstrate here. The fourth, the DIPA, which is um, potentially uh, hazardous, we will actually do that in a fume hood. The first is the potassium chloride used for the reference electrode. In the second, for calibration, there's actually a choice of a 10 milligram per liter standard and a 100 milligram per liter standard. For ultra pure water, you're probably going to use the 10 milligram per liter standard as your for calibration, but for higher levels of sodium, the 100. Regardless, in either case, you would pour the standard into this special bottle for sodium chloride calibration. Note that on this, it says 10 milligrams per liter. If you're using the 100 milligrams per liter, then you would just simply mark out the 10 and with a Sharpie, you overwrite that as 100 milligrams per liter. For reactivation of the sodium electrode, we use a concentrated solution of sodium nitrate. And again, we pour this into the bottle labeled for reactivation, and then we're set up for setting these up into the instrument. So you will note on our NA5600, all the reagents are showing low in our prognosis. So it's time to change the reagents. We're going to go to the main menu and we'll make sure our, our instrument has stopped. And it's, not, it's no longer measuring, it's stopped the flow. We know that because it actually says start analyzer. So we've actually stopped. So now we actually want to then move into the changing out of the reagents. The first thing we'll do is change out our reference electrolyte. We open up the cabinet. This is the reservoir for our reference electrolyte. We simply remove the cap. The reference electrolyte bottle that I showed earlier, we would unscrew the cap and we would pour into this reservoir until it's full. and replace the cap. That changes out your reference electrolyte. Now to refill our, our bottles for the calibration standard and the reactivation solution, we would simply open this door. In the case of our calibration, we would undo the lid, carefully lay, set this down, and then choosing our calibration standard, in this case the 10 milligram per liter, we would fill up the bottle Now we take our reactivation bottle and then we would fill this up with a sodium nitrate reactivation. At this point, we've taken care of three of our four reagents. The last one is DIPA, but again, that requires a fume hood for safe handling. To change out the DIPA reagent, you want to make sure you have on all the safety gear that Hawk talks about in its manual for the handling of DIPA. The DIPA bottle of DIPA is behind our two standard and reactivation bottles that we just talked about. We open up our cabinet. Our DIPA bottle is behind. And we first, we want, this is the tube that transfers the DIPA as a conditioning reagent to the electrode. Press down this tube. Carefully remove the DIPA bottle and carry it over to the hood where your replacement bottle is at. Making sure your hood is on, that we're making sure we're not getting any vapors. The next thing we want to do is remove the lid from the new bottle. Quickly remove the wick from the replacement bottle. Place it on the new bottle. 
take your initial lid onto the ode bottle. And now this is ready to transfer back to your analyzer. Place, carefully place the new dipper bottle in and then reconnect your tubing. And close your door. Now we want to reset our reagent levels to 100% that we've, since we've refilled them. So we go to menu and we scroll down to reagents and standards, press enter. And now we're gonna scroll down to reset our reagent levels. So the first one we'll reset is our reactivation solution. Press continue to enter. Now we'll set our standard level. Press enter to continue. and then reset our KCL. If we go back to the main screen, you'll see now all the reagents are showing 100% full. The next thing we want to do is actually prime the reagents to make sure all the tubing and everything is full. Again, we go back to menu, reagents and standards, and we move down to primary agents. And all it's going to do is prime the reactivation solution, the Cal solution. The reference electrolyte is by gravity. The DIPA is by uh, the, the vapor pressure. So we press enter for these and it will actually start the, rent, the priming operation. You'll notice it takes about a minute for the priming to take place. Once that's done, you can move back to regular normal operation by starting the analyzer. So we finished our priming, moved back to home, and now we want to restart our analyzer. Press the menu. Now we want to start, so press enter, and now we started our analyzer for uh, regular running. It's gonna ask if you want to run the analyzer setup. We don't need to do that, so we would simply press no, and now we're ready to run.